Yo, what is good lads? We are back today with a new series and as you can see in the title it's called One Last Time The Retirement Clause. So as you can see, you've probably got a kind of a gist of the idea that three players on screen. You've got Sir Alex Ferguson, Paul Scholes and David Beckham. And if you didn't know, they're all retiring this year and they've all been a massive part in me growing up watching football as a child and just progressing. It's F Ferguson's been the manager of the team I've supported for 15 years. So that's quite a long time, like normally. Guarantee if you lot don't support Man United, you've seen managers come and go out of the team you support. David Beckham and Paul Scholes have just been a massive influence as idols as me as a fucking kid. The people I watched a lot when I was growing up and everything. And Paul Scholes is just the best passer of the ball in the English game that you've ever seen. He, from my personal opinion, he's better at passing the ball than the likes of Xavi. Because if you think about it, Xavi and Iniesta, they pass it a couple of yards with each other. Go and watch some of Paul Scholes' passes. He'd just look up and fucking bang a 60-yard pass to someone's foot, mate. Absolutely incredible. Different type of passer, I know, from the Chavis and Iniesta. But that's my look on it. And David Beckham, some of the passes he's played as well are pretty incredible. Free kicks. You can't really go wrong. Everyone knows about David Beckham. Absolute god, mate. And so, these, as you know, these guys ain't going to be on FIFA next year, seeing as they're retiring. So, I'm going to try and go through all the divisions and try and... Win them one more time, so five, four, three, two, one, and even the gold cup. We're going to throw that in as well. So we're going to try and win them one last time for these lads. And each season, we're going to try and build a new team around them. So let me, this is going to be a pilot episode. So let me know what you think. If you don't want to see it, then I won't upload it anymore. But right now, write a comment down and tell me what you think about it. Even if you're watching it, say this is how many views. I want to see that many comments. So let me know if you want it. If you don't, just put in a comment saying yeah, I want it. No, I don't. You know. Just let me know what you think. Let's just start off and show you who's going to be in the first team this season. And in that, we're going to be using David De Gea from Man United. He's six foot four and it costs us 1.6k. And I don't really actually think I need to tell you the prices, so I'm just going to quickly run through the team. Um, the right centre back we're going to be using is Kabul. Middle centre back we're going to be using is Chris Smalling from Man United. And the final centre back we're going to be using is Sacco from PSG, getting that link up with. David Beckham. Left mid, we're going to be using another PSG player, which is Lavezzi. Right mid, we're going to be using an English player that is Adam Johnson from Sunderland. And the cam we're going to be using is going to link pretty much everything up is Wayne Rooney. So everyone there's going to be on 9 cam, and I thought I'd go for some strikers that I haven't used in a while in Di Natale and Mikkeli. So that's going to be the first team, lads, and this is going to be the first episode. I'm going to quickly go and edit out, go and play one game, go and edit out for you put that at the end and that's going to be the first game really lads so yeah I'm going to be, I'll be back in a couple of seconds when I've edited out the game so yeah see you in a sec all right we're back with the gameplay lads so when I'm playing one game completely and this was in division five and we come up with a pretty decent team for division five full Poland team and he was a pretty decent player it was a pretty decent team 100 chemistry team and yeah, he was pretty decent. Normally, just going to come up against full bronze players. We're doing a nice bit of work with Dean Natale, dribbling through a mass amount of players. But Lavez is going to go for a roulette and just get absolutely obliterated. And then we just we just call over the big man that is Paul Skulls. And yeah, we just leave it to him. So Paul Skulls puts us 1-0 up from the penalty spot and David Beckham's going to take absolutely blinding fucking corner. Known for what he's got up, taking a great pass, great curve, finds Wayne Rooney, Wayne Rooney heads at home to put us 2-0 up and we're pretty much easy pickings for this game. But we're going to find Mickley and he's going to do a dirty little dink over the Arsenal keeper and that puts us 3-0 up and that's pretty much game set and match for first game. But we won as easy as we thought, really, because we're going to give the opponent a chance to get back into it with a pretty bit of terrible defending on my part. Couldn't get in front of him, and pretty banging shot, I must say, from Pazeko. I don't even know who he is, but great shot, nonetheless. Completely outboxed me there. We've seen a nice Rabona chip there. Fouls a bit, but we're going to get the ball back, and Mikkeli's going to do a dirty finish here with his left foot in the near post. Absolute pure dirt. Try and pick that one out, keeps. That was in the 90th minute, and that's how this game's going to end, lad. As I said earlier, let me know what you think about this series. Like, leave a comment and tell me if you want me to keep doing this. If you don't, and I won't do it. So please just let me know. And yeah, if you're new around here and you like what you see, please do drop a sub. And if you like the video, please do drop a like, because it helps a lot. 
And yeah, hope you enjoy it and I'm out. Safe.